Let me show you how to create a YouTube dashboard in Google Data Studios. It will be much more convenient than using analytics in your YouTube studio. So let's get started. The first thing that uh, we need to do is to create a brand new uh, YouTube dashboards. Click create and then create a report. And then we need to connect our YouTube data source. Uh, so I go to add data, then scroll down. And here I'm choosing YouTube analytics. I need to authorize. Here I need to choose my account and then I need to choose a particular channel. Uh, then I need to click authorize again. It will show you the same um, screen as its previous one. It's because YouTube Analytics Connect has some issues, but if you click it again, it will connect you. So click a couple of times authorize, choose uh, your uh, channel and then click add. The first thing that I want to add is a date range for us to choose a particular date range like last seven days or 30 days and so on. Then uh, let's visualize major metrics for YouTube. It will be views, watch time and uh, so on. So I click on scorecard, choose a particular scorecard. And here, uh, uh, the first metric is total watch time. Let me change it a little bit. I want to add a comparison date range. It will be previous period. And uh, for um, the uh, select date range field, I want to uh, use last uh, 30 days. Let's add a couple of other scorecards. Uh, the second one will be views. Uh, let's also add uh, likes. It's called video video likes added. We can also count dislikes and also we can add uh, total watch time. Uh, then let's add a table uh, with our uh, detail statistics of all the videos. So I can add video title, thumbnail, video length, and add uh, additional metrics like video shares, video likes. Here's our detail breakdown by particular video. Also, we can add a geo chart. I choose a country code and uh, for instance, uh, views. Another chart that I wanna add is uh, time series chart. I want to track the cumulative views for all time and how I can do it. I need to switch uh, dimension will be date and uh, metric will be uh, video views. And uh, I need to go to style and choose cumulative. And then uh, for um, if you want to see the statistics from all time, uh, you need to choose the default date range to set it custom one and go here and choose um, the advanced and set something like today minus uh, five uh, years and click apply. Let's enhance our dashboard uh, by adding the total number of subscribers. And to, in order to do it, we need to use a calculated metric. I will create another scorecard I will remove uh, the comparison with the previous period. And uh, to, in order to calculate this metric, we need to click here and, uh, and then um, create field. And here I input uh, formula, sum of user subscription added minus sum of user subscriptions removed. And uh, this uh, metric will be the total subs. Then I need to change the default uh, date range and uh, to set it for a couple of years, for instance, it will be advanced today minus again five uh, years. I can uh, remove uh, the background. So here it will be the total number of subs. Also, we can calculate as uh, a lifetime views for our channel. I will just uh, duplicate uh, the current metric and uh, I need to change the metric to views 
what's great about data studio is that uh, we can um, highlight a particular video based on a criteria like if the number of views of a particular video is higher than 100 we can uh, highlight this video uh, with uh, green uh, color or the same we can do with bad performing videos to highlight them another way so how to do it i need to click on the table and then go to style and choose uh, add conditional formatting and here i need to choose metric in my case it will be views and condition will be uh, greater than uh, 100 and uh, here i need to choose how we are gonna style this uh, we can highlight the entire row or a particular cell. In my case, I want to highlight the entire row and it will be, for instance, light blue, uh, light green. I click uh, save and here you see that the video with more than 100 views uh, is, is highlighted. Let's assume that you also want to set a target for your YouTube channel. So one of the way how to do it is to click at the chart and then go to bullet chart and edit here change it it a little bit and here i can set target let's assume it will be 100 the metric will be total number of subscription added minus total number of subscriptions removed i click apply and then uh, here i can change the uh, the range limits Default date range will be, in my case, custom and for the last five years. After building this dashboard, you can easily share it with someone by clicking this button. And here you can send uh, this dashboard with your partners uh, with whom you want to make some kind of brand deal and uh, so on and so forth. Last but not least, I will leave uh, the links to a couple of YouTube uh, dashboard templates that you can use and uh, connect your uh, data to quickly see the, your um, YouTube channel performance. The first one is the, from the official uh, Data Studio YouTube templates and here you can filter your videos by titles to see major matches quite nicely designed. In order to connect this dashboard uh, you need to click uh, use my own data and uh, authorize and connect your YouTube uh, analytics credential. Another YouTube dashboard helps you to track um, the amount of views and watch time you need to gain before uh, your channel will be monetized. Here to select your YouTube channel authorize and this way you uh, we'll see your uh, YouTube analytics data. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos. If you need help with Data Studio, check the description below. And also here are some videos that popped out on the screen that may be useful for you.